Hello everyone, welcome back once again. In this video, we will look at mobile development with Visual Studio 2022. But before we get started, please make sure you subscribe to the channel if you haven't. So let's get to it then. So Visual Studio obviously is the best comprehensive IDE, which is integrated development environment for .NET and C++ developers on Windows. So with the Visual Studio 2022, you can create rich native apps using .NET across iOS, Android, and Windows. You can, you can also share code across device platforms with .NET standard. So enough of all of this talking, so let's get to the real stuff. So as you can see here, yeah, I've got Visual Studio Installer opened. So to get started here, yeah, let's click on the modify. Yeah. So you can just open your Visual Studio Installer. Make sure you've got the Visual Studio 2022 installed. I've got the enterprise, but it doesn't really matter whether you've got the professional or the community version. So we click on the modify. So here, once this page opens here, yeah, we make sure we are on the workloads, yeah? So as you can see here now, we've got mobile development with .NET. So you can build cross-platform applications for iOS, Android, or Windows using Xamarin. Yeah, so we check this box, yeah? Then we come inside the individual components, yeah? So we scroll down. There are certain components that we might or we may need. So basically, this is the first time I'm actually using the, I'm actually install, installing, so please bear with me. So we come inside, uh, we go to um, scroll down to emulators. So we check both these boxes here. Yeah? And we scroll down, scroll down. We've got most of the boxes checked. So just gonna see if we're not mixing anything. So we're just gonna leave it here as it is. So we click on the modifier. Yeah? So this is, this should install all the necessary um, packages that are needed. So I'm just going to pause the video while the whole thing works out. So as you can see now, we've got the download and installation completed. So we can go ahead and launch the Visual Studio. So I'm just gonna click on do not recovery. So we can continue with our code. So here, we come inside the tools. So as you can see here now, we have the iOS and Android appearing here. So here, obviously, you can configure the device that you want to use to obviously test your, your project or your application. So here, obviously, you can pair your Mac device and whatnot. And then here, you can set up your Android emulator, So which is what we're going to do. First, we're going to go to the um, Android SDK manager. So we just wait for it to load. So here, obviously, we're just gonna click to repair. We accept. So here, we're going to click about, I mean, whatever is, um, we're just going to wait for this to complete. So I'm just going to pause it. Okay, so now this is what we're gonna do. We're just going to select the, the Oreo yeah, we're just gonna select that and maybe the new guy. Then we come inside the twos. So here we come inside the extras. Uh, scroll down, then click on this. That. And we've got the emulator. Um, okay, so what we do next is, of course, we're just going to apply changes. We accept the terms. Okay, so we've actually got the changes 
completed so we close this bit here then we come back to the tools here so inside the Android bit here we come inside the Android device manager here obviously we can we can create and start an emulator yeah so as you can see here now I've already got an emulator installed but obviously if you don't then you can click on the new here and then obviously you can select the specs for your emulator so the, the, the processor is x86 it's got a pixel then the OS is API 30 so we can make it 31 then we can also add the Google Play Store so as you can see here it's a bit stuck here we're just gonna leave it here as it is for now so if we actually scroll down so the the hardware RAM size so here obviously you can change the RAM size to uh, whatever RAM you want to use and we're just gonna make this um, uh, 2100 we're just gonna make some like this yeah then we click on the create so we accept the terms so this will actually download and create so we could have actually named the emulator but we didn't so it's just a um, pixel 5 yeah so we're just gonna wait for the whole thing to download and install so I'm just gonna pause the video once again so as you can see here now, we've got the emulator created uh, with the 2 gig RAM and the um, x86 processor. So we can click on the start um, to start the emulator. So I'm just going to start again for some reason. It's not starting. So I mean, maybe it's just some some problem with my computer. But obviously, you can you can start, yeah. So once you're able to do that, then the next bit is of course we come inside the file. Then um, the start window. Then we go to the create a new project so here um, we come inside the platforms we can select um, android um, ios mac os and whatnot yeah so inside of the project type as well we can select um, whatever project that is applicable to you so obviously we can select the mobile here so now we are able to create a mobile app using the Xamarin form. So this is a, a multi-project a multi -project template for building apps for iOS and Android with Xamarin and Xamarin forms. So you can use this also to build an Android application using Xamarin, just an Android standalone. Then, and this for iOS, the Android Wear and whatnot, yeah? So we're just going to go ahead and select the Android form or the, the mobile app with Xamarin form. So here, we're just going to click on the create. And then here, you can select whatever layout that you want. Yeah. Then you could also add uh, the UWP. I've not installed it at the moment, but obviously you can add it to it. Then obviously you can select the layout as well. So we're just going to select what any layout. No. So here, obviously, I mean, once we click on the create, we just wait for the project to create. So while the project is actually creating, I'm just I'm going to leave the video here for now, right? And I'll I'll go ahead on my next upcoming videos and create like a separate applications for iOS, for Android, and Windows using the Visual Studio 2022. So. Once again, if you haven't subscribed to the channel, please make sure you do because I've got lots of videos coming up. And I hope you have a lovely morning, afternoon, evening, wherever you are. Peace.